Hey, what's up? In this video, we're gonna go over retrofit and how to parse JSON data with it. So how to get JSON data from a website. So in my demo, I'm going to be getting data from Reddit. If we go to just the homepage of Reddit and we go to, uh, we just add .json to the end, it will take us, oops, we have to have a slash there. It'll take us to a JSON representation of the main homepage. And to view this in a better way, we can actually use a code beautifier. If you don't know how to use a code beautifier, just go to this URL up here, go to load URL, type the URL in there, go to load, and it will actually um, make that JSON data look a lot better. So this is what the uh, JSON data looks like here. And I'm just gonna grab some random things out of here just to show you, show you how to do it. So what I'm gonna be getting after is this contest mode parameter here, subreddit to the author, and this kind variable right here, just to show you how to get something that's not in the same area because these are all in the data area i want to show you how to get something that's not in that same area here so yeah i'll do a i'll do a quick demo um, i got the app open here i'll just run it okay and this it's just going to print the data to the log so ignore this login button and ignore this post button that was actually for testing i was doing something else the button we're going to use is get data so i'll hit get data and we'll go take a look at the log here and you can see it's pulling that information right from the feed so whoops if we go to the reddit post so you can see here's the kind variable the contest mode the subreddit and then the author and i pulled a whole bunch of them so i'm going to show you how to get those parameters so i'm going to create a new project i'm just going to call it retrofit json and do an empty activity and first things first let's grab the dependency so let's go to the retrofit github page and we'll scroll down and grab the dependency Oops. Go to your uh, build.gradle app file and paste in the dependency. And then we're going to need to get the um, XML converter, or sorry, the JSON converter also from the retrofit library. So let's go to retrofit converters here. And we're going to go to the JSON area and we're going to grab this right here. Okay. And so retro JSON. And we're going to put our latest version in here which is going to be 2.2.0, whoops, 0. .0. And that is all we need, so let's hit sync. Okay, once that's done, we can close that file, and let's just do the, uh, we can just do the layout really quick. I'm just going to throw, I'm going to delete the, the text view, and then I'm just going to throw a click button in here. Whoops, actually, let's just do wrap content and wrap content. And we'll give it an ID of uh, get data. Well, actually, button. We'll go button get data. And we'll put some text in it. Get data. And I'm not going to do anything special with it. I'm just going to leave it right there. That's all we really need. So we can close that. And we'll go ahead and add internet permissions before I forget. So that's done too. Now let's head over to the documentation really quick. So let's go back to. Oops, back to the home page for retrofit and scroll down and we'll go to their website and here's sort of uh, a little introduction of what you need to do so you can see we need to create an interface so let's do that we'll create an interface and we're going to call it uh, we're going to call it reddit api since we're going to be using a reddit api so let's create an interface we'll call it reddit api and let's go back to the page and we'll just copy this section right here and post it in here and up top, we'll, we'll stick in our base URL so I don't have to come back to it. So I'm just going to go base URL. And this is going to be just reddit.com. I'll go to Reddit and I copy that. And just delete this little JSON extension right there. So that's, that's going to be our base URL. This um, sort of format here with the path variable is for non-static URLs. But we're going to be dealing with a static URL. We're just going to look at the home page and pull information from it. So I'm going to delete this. And we're not going to be using a list here either. And I'm going to delete this and I'm just going to put .json. So you saw that I removed that .json from here. I'm going to put it here. There always needs to be a portion of the URL in this get call. You can't put the entire URL in the base URL. Yeah, retrofit just doesn't let you do that. But you'll see why later when I actually declare the retrofit object in main activity. So in here, I'm just going to call it feed since we're going to be pulling an RSS feed. And I'm going to call this method get feed. Or actually get data. I'm going to get data since that's what's, that's what's on our button. 
and we're going to need to add a header. Um, if you're familiar with headers, they're kind of just another parameter that you can add to URLs when you're getting data or you're posting data. And in this case, we need to add a uh, co we need to add a content type parameter. So we go content type equals application slash JSON since we're getting JSON data, and that should be good. Now we're going to create our feed class. So let's go over here. We're going to create a new uh, package. I'm going to call it model because it's going to hold our data model. You don't have to do it this way. I just prefer to do it this way in case you have multiple APIs or multiple different like JSON formats. It's always just better to organize it this way, I think, anyway. So then we create our feed class. And the feed class is what's going to match our JSON data. So if we look at the code beautifier, the kind of hierarchy is going to be kind and then data. And then inside the data object, there's going to be a mod hash object and a children object. Sorry, inside, inside the data object is going to be a mod hash parameter. It's going to be a string. And, inside, and also a children object, which is going to be a list. So we're going to need to create an array list for this one, a string for this one. This is going to be a data object, so it's going to be a whole d other data structure in itself. And this is going to be a string. So inside feed, we put our first two. So private string kind is our first one. And private data, data. And we need to remember, because this has its own data structure. We're going to call it data, and this is just a string. And so in retrofit, when you're dealing with JSON data, it's a little different than with XML. If you've seen my XML uh, tutorials, you, you need to uh, use serialized name, and then you put the name of it, and then you put at exposed. That's it. So now I can copy those two. I wish that would stop getting mad at me. And in here, I'm going to put data. And then we can do alt insert and go get our insider methods. If you're on Mac, I think it's like command insert. I'm not really sure and then go alt insert and we're going to go to string and that's it so here is our first data model for parsing the json data so now we need to make this data class so let's go over into our model and we'll go new java class type data and then we'll pull up our code beautifier again and inside data we have a string we're going to call it mod hash and we have an array list of children so we just need to create those two objects so we can go actually let's uh let's copy it over from feed so let's just grab this, it's going to be very similar. So we got going to have our serialized name, which, which was mod hash. So then we just call this also mod hash. And then we're going to paste that again. And this is going to be an array list. So we go array list of children. We need to make this children class. And we're going to call it children. And in there, we'll put children. There we go. So that should match our data model here. And then Alt Insert again, Getter and Setters. Let's grab both those Getter and Setters. And we'll go down to the very bottom and we're going to insert our two string method also. That's it. So now we just need to create our children class for our array list. And what I like to do is then, if there's ever a list, I like to create another package, name it the list, uh, whoops, lowercase. And then inside here is where I'll create all the objects that are actually inside the children list. So if we look in here, all the objects that are inside the children list are kind and data. There might actually be more down here, but I'm not interested in those. I'm only going to take kind and data. So I, I need to create another, um, another data model that's different from this data model, because this data model only has mod hash and children in it, whereas this data model has all these parameters. So first thing we'll do is we'll actually just create this children class. So we'll right click on the children package, go to new Java class, paste children. Then we're going to go back into our data class and let's just actually import that children and import array list and there we go. So all of our red goes away there. Now let's go back into our children class and we're going to declare our objects. So we have we're going to have a private data data just like we did before and but this this data model is going to be different. So we 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 don't want to import um, where is it? We don't want to import this one. We're going to have to create a new data model. So let's grab uh, let's grab this stuff and paste it in there and the data. Oh, mod hash was missing an H there. Okay, put that. And what else was there? There was kind. So kind is just gonna be a string. So we can go private string kind. And we'll grab this stuff, post it there, and put our kind. And now we'll do alt insert and the getter and setter methods just like before. 
lots of repetition here. Now let's go down to get the two string method. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so now we need to create our new data model. We're gonna create it inside of the children package. So right click on children, go to new Java class, data, and now we have our new data model. And this is the one we, that we wanna imp. Oh, you don't even have to import it in here actually because it's in the same package. So you only have to import models if they're not in the same uh, package. So this is, so there's no red. All right, so inside of children, we now we're gonna choose what we're gonna get. I already told you that we're gonna be getting this kind variable, so that's gonna be, uh, where is it? This one right here. But now we need to choose basically what parameters we wanna get from this big list of parameters inside of data. Just because there, a lot of them are null, I'm just gonna choose contest mode at random, subreddit, and I'm gonna choose author. So these are, this is a Boolean, this is a string, and this is a string. So we'll go back to our model here and let's just actually type out all those variables. So I'm gonna grab uh, I'm gonna grab this one right here and paste it in. So the first one was uh, contest mode. So I'll just write out contest mode and then copy. Actually, maybe I'll just copy this four times and then I'll just change them all. So the second one was gonna be uh, subreddit. Sorry, we only need three, three times. And the last one is going to be author. That's it. Now we'll import our getter and setter methods and go down to the bottom and to string. That's gonna be it. So that, that will be able to retrieve the information that I talked about. So now we'll go back to our Reddit API and we're gonna import our feed model and import call. So you can see it's taking it from the model package right there. And now pretty much all the setup stuff is done for retrofit. Now we're just gonna go into main activity, declare our retrofit object, and actually get the data. So let's go log t, and we'll create our button here. So button, button, get data, button, find you by id, r dot id dot button, get data, import the button library. And now we just create our retrofit object. So retrofit, call it retrofit, equals new retrofit, oops, don't know why it did that. Dot, oh, I don't need those brackets. Dot builder, is it capital? I think it's capital. And then we do dot uh, base URL. And oh, let's grab our base URL from the Reddit API. So just copy this. And we're gonna put it in at the top here. I'm gonna call it a private static final since it doesn't change. We'll pass our base URL there. Then we need to add our uh, converter factory, which is gonna be is it, JSON converter factory and dot create, and then dot build. That's it. So now we have our retrofit object. Now we need to create our Reddit API interface. So go Reddit API equals retrofit dot create, and then pass the Reddit API dot, whoops, class, and create a call object. You can go feed, we'll do, oh, let's call it call, import that, and do equals reddit api, import that, and then we use get data. And the method that we're gonna put here is always gonna be the one that we put in here. So this get data method is gonna be the same as this get, this method right here. I could change this to get like stuff, and that would mean that I need to change this to get stuff. But we'll leave it as get data. And now we need to add a NQ to our call. So new callback. And this is gonna be the successful response method. And this is gonna be the failure response method. So inside the failure response, we'll just do a log E for error. I don't know, something went wrong. And just do t.get message. And we can also print out a toast if we wanted to. So we do toast uh, make text uh, context is main activity something went wrong and do length short dot show that'll print out a little toast uh, message for the failure and now let's grab uh, let's just actually do log do log d in the successful and the first thing we want to print out in the on response method is actually the http server response so we can go http uh, what is it remember HTTP server codes yeah so this is what we're gonna get one of these ser we can get one of these server codes so we can actually figure out what if there was an error what happened or if it was successful you'll get a 200 
and stuff like that. So we can we can get that by just going uh, we can go server response and do just response that to string and that will print out the server response and then we can actually get our information so like all of the data received information and then do uh, response dot body and then to string and that will get all of the data but if we only want a little bit of the data then we can declare our we can use our, our data model to get specific parameters and that's what we're going to do down here so we'll create an array list of children and go children list equals response body and then we have to call get data first because uh, let me import this array list so we have to go get data first and then get children because inside of data is where children is so we have to go get data and then get children let's go back to main activity and so now now this this array list is going to contain all of the children from the the json data page so it'll contain a big list of each one of the children so um, in case that's unclear it's gonna be hard because there's so much information here but like w the first child will be all the way to here that'll be the first child and then the second one well you can see that it starts again right here so that would be the second child and keep going and that'll go all the way up to here and then that'll be the third one so it's, this is what's going to get a, a big list of those children and then we can loop through it and print, print each one of them out so for that we'll just do a for loop and I'm just going to I'm just going to copy and paste this from my demo um, that I have right here I don't want you to watch me type this out it'll be really boring it's just um, just the response. Oops, there we go. So, get contest mode. So we have the children list, and then we get the object at the position in the array, and then we call the method. So we get the child, and then we get the object get kind. So if we go into the children class, we can see it has a parameter kind, and that's what we're getting right here get kind. And this is the content test mode so that's actually inside data so if you go into the children model we can see we have that data parameter so if we want to get the uh, the contest mode here remember that it's inside of data so we have we have our uh, children list and then we have data and then we have contest mode so you have to go get children get data and then get contest mode so that's what we need to do right here and it's the same thing for the subreddit and the same thing for the author because the author and the subreddit are also inside of this this data object so we need to go get children get data get contest mode get subreddit and get the author right there and that's how you get those and then these will this will just print all to the log and that should be it so let's run it and let's take a look okay so let's take a look we just have our plain old get data button that you saw there and oh I forgot to attach the get data button to an on click listener so it it just started as soon as I started main activity that's fine whatever uh, so yeah so we can see it's pu actually pulling the information and everything's working fine uh, I'll just talk about it a little bit here so here you can see this is the server response right here and you can see we get a successful message you can see the code 200 and that's that's gonna be this log right here it's printing out the server response it gives you the URL that it pulled the information from the, the HTTP server response which is 200 which means successful and then this part right here is all the information so you can see received information which is this comment right here and all it prints out the entire well it doesn't print out the entire feed there's a limit on how much it can print out but it prints out a bunch of the feed and then here is where we actually start reading the information so you can see um, it prints out in the format that I uh, described right here so that's it that's parsing JSON data with retrofit you can see there's a little bit of setup involved but once you actually get it set up it's quite easy you can pretty much get anything from the feed relatively simple it just requires some initial setup for getting those data models set up if this video was helpful make sure to leave a like below follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for watching